Hello and welcome at the Dutch Design Week. We are here now in Eindhoven at the Ketelhuisplein, the center of the Dutch Design Week. My name is Lucas de Man and together with Pascal Le Boek, I'm one of the co-creators of the installation The Exploded View Beyond Building, which is here. It's an exhibition in the shape of a house and it has three layers. First of all, it has stories about a new value system. Second of all, it has circular building methods. And third, it has more than 100 bio-based material. Now, very quickly about the stories, we have four different categories in which we collected stories. You can find those stories on the website. Secondly, building methods, circular building methods. Well, you can see a house is built out of wood, but modular. So that means that we put it in the computer, we phrased everything, it came out of the factory like this, then we build it like Lego blocks, chick, 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 in a few days and you have a whole house. And the cool thing is you can make it smaller or bigger, you can take everything apart and build it out somewhere else again. So that's the idea. If you want to build sustainable, you have to build modular and with wood. So also in the future, people think uh, sustainable is going to be more expensive. No, when we do it out of the factory, it's actually cheaper and it's better. And third of all, I promised you 100 bio-based materials. Well, we put them in different rooms with different teams and I suggest that we go inside now, right? Let's go. The first team is earth. As you can see, this is lime already, limestone, and then we made this beautiful stamped lime wall. The idea is that you use the ground that is where you are. So don't take earth and then put it a halfway across the earth to make a house. No, use the earth that you find locally to build your house. And then you see this beautiful little cork tree because it's still growing and it's surrounded by a cork case with some sheep wool in it because then you can grow it better. And the idea is let's grow trees like cork trees also in our own country because they can and we can use them for beautiful materials as you will see. Here we have beautiful tiles made out of mud that you find in the river, right? Because what you do is every seven years you have to make sure that you take all the mud out of the rivers, you can make tiles with it and you can lay them in such a structure that the water can go through so that actually we give water back to the earth instead of take it away. Let's go upstairs because I want to show you some burned wood. Here you are. Burned wood, two kinds, really burned, a little bit burned. Why is burned wood so important? Because you don't need any uh, coating, you don't need any uh, maintenance. You can leave it like this, like especially this one, for hundreds of years. So no maintenance, it takes way longer. And of course, when you burn it, a little bit of CO2 uh, comes out of it, where you can capture that and then take it back and use it for nature. So actually, what they do is everything they use, Everything they burn, all the CO2 that comes free, they take it and they make sure that they capture it and store it again. Burned wood. After earth comes water. Right? So here we have our little garden with reed and cattail. Reed and cattail are amazing plants. Now they are discarded, they are like the B class of plants, but I love them because they can grow in water. Right? They can go everywhere. They are very good with a little bit of water and they go super fast. You can make beautiful materials with them. I'll show you. Welcome in our water room. Of course, you can see immediately the insulation made out of reed. Reed is perfect for insulation. It's easy to make and it breathes. So the air goes in and out again. Then above the reed, you see seaweed, tiles made of seaweed. And above the seaweed, you see seagrass from Denmark. The seagrass just comes ashore every day, so you don't have to really grow it. You can grow it, which is good and sustainable, but you can actually use what the sea gives you as well, and the insulation is the highest quality you can get. But you're looking at the wall behind me, I can see, I can tell. Well, this is a beautiful wall made out of uh, lime plaster, but colored with algae. The lime comes as well from the ground locally, so you don't transport it all over Earth, you take it locally, and they use algae to color it, but also to bind it and make it more firm. And if we talk about algae, love it by the way, here you see this beautiful algae screen. So it's made out of algae and bio waste. And the great thing with algae is they store way more CO2, for example, than trees. You can grow them everywhere. You can feed them to your cattle, for example, but they make a beautiful coloring and a beautiful binder as well. Yeah, let's go to fungi and bacteria. 
Fungi, mycelium, I don't know if you heard of it. Mycelium is the roots of the mushroom that bind together. They make this light but incredible structures. For example, look at this. This is our wall made out of mycelium. You can't touch it now because you're on camera, but this looks, oh, this feels so great. It's super light, it's water resistant, it's fire retardant, and it's acoustically amazing. That's why they make a lot of acoustic shields, but you can also make it as insulation. This is an insulation wall made from mycelium. So you have them in patterns, you can use them immediately in your house. They are very, very good. And if you don't need them afterwards, you can crumble them, throw them in the earth, and they are very good as um, uh, fertilizer. Now, look at the floor. The floor is biocomposite and mycelium as well. So acoustically, insulation-wise, super. We have also a table, 3D printed from mycelium. We have a lamp from mycelium. But the craziest thing here in this room, except for me, is the wall. Because this wall is made out of concrete made from bacteria. So you don't need the cement, which is very bad for the environment, we all know. You make concrete with bacteria. The bacteria crystallize the stones so that they have the same effect as concrete, but it's the bacteria who do it. So the bacteria make sure that all the stones, you have a lot of stones, the bacteria crystallize them, make them very hard, but if you don't need them afterwards, you can actually take them apart way more easy than normal concrete. So this is revolution. You know what? Let's go to the bedroom. You don't notice it because you're watching now on behind your computer or television, but the atmosphere in this room is pure. That comes because this air filtering system that is consisting out of plants. So we have this tin foiled here system with the plants, with some special uh, 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 grains in there. And the great thing is they purify the air better than any purifier or ventilation system. So you don't need a ventilation system that gives people a headache. You have these plants, this filtering system that actually takes care of the whole floor here. And then you see this, the biofold, I see you looking, the biofold. This is made out of burlap and bio waste and it's very light, it's acoustically super energetic and the great thing is it gives, it breathes, so it gives you the air quality as well. So this whole room feels like mother nature created it herself, especially with this bio bed. So this is made of natural rubber, natural linen, so if you lay in here, no allergies, no headaches, it's pure nature. And then the floor, the last in this room, the floor is made out of recycled wood. So we throw away so much wood every day. But if you really make an effort like they did, you can make beautiful floors, walls out of the little tiniest splinter of wood. Shall we go outside? Yeah? Come. The more nature in your house, the more it breathes, the more natural, but the more healthy you get. That's why we we actually advocate more nature in houses. For example, this cork wall, this is 100% pure cork and it grows actually plants in it. So you have nature with nature in it. So it's extra healthy, extra good also for insects, for birds. This is very attractive. They don't destroy the cork. They actually go here and uh, feed the plants, live from the plants. So if you have this in your house, you're a happy person, aren't you? Now, behind you, you have insulation plates made out of cattail. So we know, we know uh, hemp plus uh, magnesium, right? Um, plus chalk, chalk and hemp. This is actually the same bit with cattail, which is in the Netherlands, we grow them by the bunch, but we discard them as less, which is ridiculous because they are amazing. I'll show you one of our gardens. Before we go in the kitchen, I want to show you our special garden, one of them. This is phytoremediative. I practice that word, that means that it actually filters or takes the toxic out of water or ground. So these plants you can put in uh, toxic soil and they actually take the toxic elements out of it. So we messed up, they help us. That's the idea. Now that we're here, this is a concrete wall. And we don't like concrete, I know, we don't like it. But the idea is that we actually put in front of the concrete wall a lava wall that contains grass, nature, insect houses, and so on. So people from the concrete world are also looking how can we make concrete less bad for nature? Because we're still gonna use concrete in the coming years. Okay, let's go to the kitchen. First, these tiles, Kerlock tiles. These are completely out of nature, the same quality as the traditional tiles that you find for outside or inside your house, but 100% bio-based. Cool, right? Okay, welcome in the kitchen. The first thing you see immediately 
is a beautiful Mexican call wallpaper, corn. So this is made from Mexican corn. Used to be a lot of kinds of corns in the world, but because of the one yellow one that we all know, all the other corns in the world has been discarded, which is ridiculous. Because look how beautiful the leaves are. This artist actually sort of revitalized the towns where he came from in Mexico, where now the men and women again plant the Mexican corn to make wallpaper, to make beautiful design actually with the leaves. And this is great. The women now make more money than the men, which was never done before, thanks to art and design. Welcome in the kitchen. So we have the Mexican corn leaves. We also have beautiful hennep. Again, hennep, so different kinds of hennep walls. We have this this grass wall, this is made out of grass that actually is normally you cut the grass the size of the road and you throw them away, right? Because they don't want it. This is cut, thrown away grass, but then made into a beautiful wall. How great is that? Then our uh, rug here is made out of bio linen, but colored with waste from the metal industry to indicate that we throw away so many beautiful things. Right? Our rooftop is made out of flowers, flowers from the field. So I'm standing here upside down in a, in a flower field. How beautiful is that? Then we have a kitchen. The great thing about this kitchen is you can take it apart piece by piece without a problem. So it's actually detachable. So they put it in, they put it out. So it's not limed or glued or anything. You can take it out apart. And we actually changed some of the cabinets to more beautiful uh, nature and feeding elements. For example, this plate is made out of paprika, paprika stains. This is out of bio waste. We have here uh, cutlery from made from potato starch. This is an oyster plate. So this is granite, but then made from oysters. And this is straw but this is construction wise so you can use this actually to build complete houses with these straw panels so this is wood and straw it's insulation and construction at the same time and then we have our dinner table everything on this table is made from either residues from the farming or residues from the food industry so you have here plates from egg we have 3d printed seaweed uh, vases this is also egg this is Seaweed for the people who fly with KLM, the airplane the company. This was their first cutlery that they had. This is what they serve people, but this now is made from seaweed. Beautiful table display, but we have to continue. And I go through a hennep garden. This is very small, tiny hennep, still has to grow, with our chalk hennep wall. And above that you see our wood plate. So this is plateau wood. That means that it's a little bit burned. So that actually it's a soft wood that makes the qualities of hardwood because of the thermic uh, uh, treatment. Yeah? And you see shingles, of course, which is in the United States they use already for many years. So this is wood that normally would be thrown away because it's too small, it's not good enough. But if you put it on top of each other, it's the red cedar, then it's beautiful. And if we go a little bit back, you see our roof. We have amazing, we have actually six different roofs on our roof. Um, wood that has been recycled. And again, we throw away so much good wood. You can recycle it, you can treat it, for example, thermally, and then you can reuse it on a high quality. And of course, we have our green roofs. Two kinds, one with tin around it, that makes it the water stay, and one with the cork and the sheep wool, because the sheep wool makes sure that the uh, vegetables and the garden can grow. So you can grow actually a green roof that make insects and, and birds come here and then actually house becomes nature. That's the whole idea. Not against, but becomes nature. Yeah? Okay, let's continue. Before I start babbling away about life and nature and love and everything. The sewage room. But before we go in, first check out another beautiful cork wall that we have. And here, aquatecture, our screen. The idea, of course, this is not bio-based, it's stainless steel, I know. But the great thing is, it takes every drop that comes by, it catches every drop and holds it. So also in places where we don't rain a lot, because in Holland it rains like, I don't know, 400 days out of the 365. But in places where you don't have a lot of water, it takes every drop and it captures it and you can use it for your plants of vegetation. Or you can put a filter in between and your house gives you drinking water. How cool is that? Sewage, I promise you, sewage. This 
biocomposite is made out of the residue that you have from water filtering systems. So everything we, you know, throw in the sewer comes to this water and cleaning station. And normally what we do is we take the water, we drink it again, and the rest we burn, right? But if you don't burn it, if you take out the good materials, you can make this beautiful biocomposite. So this comes out of the sewage and looks amazing. Inside, it also looks amazing. So what you can see immediately is this beautiful lime clay wall. So it's a very thin layer of lime that they put in as clay so that your wall is protected. Yeah? Enter, enter, enter. I'm sitting on my compost toilet surrounded by this beautiful wall made out of the residue of the sewage. So what they do is you, you take a shit, right? It goes to the sewage. Then they filter everything, the water out, the bad chemicals out. They take the residue, they put a little bit of bio paste in it, and they 3D print with that residue. So I'm sitting surrounded by myself, 3D printed, the good part of myself. The bad part, they burn that, and then they take the gas that comes out of it, called vliegas, and then they use it for tiles, for ceramic tiles, as a glacier, right, as a coating. Here, you can see this. These tiles are glazed, coated with the gas that is left from the residue that is left from the sewage water. What people can do. It's amazing. And then last but not least in this room is our kimono weight made with chimera, which is a bacteria that you find in, let's say, sewage water. And that is beautiful because it's a binder, it's a color, it's a sort of everything bacteria that can do everything that you want. Uh, so I want to show you one more thing before we're done. Come, let's leave this room. One more thing. So, the last thing I want to show you are these tiles. This beautiful floor is made from tiles that are made from ceramic waste. And what is so great about this is that they hold water. So normally tiles, they make sure that water goes away as fast as possible, but they go to the sewer and the sewer overflows, right? In times of, uh, of too much water. What they do is they take and hold the water like a sponge. When it's really hot, they release the water again, so it becomes less hot. When it's too much, like way too much water, they go and bring it to the ground. So they hold water as long as they can. This is amazing. They add to the water solution instead of adding to the problem. Voila, this is our house. If you have any more questions, check out our website, theexplodedview.com. But I hope that you see how beautiful sustainable materials can be, how many and how far we already have come to do it. So those who say it cannot be done, it's still in an experimental phase, it's not true. We're already very, very far. And the most important thing is, if we want to build affordably, we have to build sustainable. I hope to see you again another time.